Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Blo Vlogs. Wow, I'm tired. Anyway, so, America apparently has Thanksgiving right now. I'm Canadian. I'm. This is confusing to me, but that's okay. So, uh, instead of doing the Rogue Legacy possibly thing that I was going to do, we are going to go for the Pilgrim achievement, um, which you don't need for what a long, strange trip it's been. It's kind of an extra, but it'll net you 100 achievement points, which is pretty nice. So, we will start at the top with Food Fight. So in order to get food fight, um, all you need to do is sit in one of these chairs, and then you need to target someone who is also sitting. So we'll target this little panda guy here, and we'll throw it. And you keep throwing them until they actually bounce on his head. There, you can see it hit him. And that will get you the achievement, which is great. Um, the next one is Pilgrim's Paunch. You need to acquire the spirit of sharing from a complete bountiful table feast at every alliance capital. So, um, horde, obviously the equivalent would be um, the other horde ones, which is uh, Ogremar, Undercity, Thunderbluff. I know the other one. I do. Silvermoon. There we go. Um, and I, it's really good to note that these are not in the cities. They are just outside of them. Um, so you don't have to worry for one of them where you need to go into the, uh, horde alliance, you need to go into the, to the horde ones and horde, you need to go to the alliance ones. You don't actually have to go in the city. Guards won't attack you. Um, players might, so maybe do it during off hours, but you won't actually get attacked. Um, so getting the sharing is caring or share, sorry, the spirit of sharing buff. Um, you do that by sitting at one of the chairs. So in this case, we are at the stuffing chair. I don't know why I have, don't why there's turkey here. Oh, there's turkey on the plate. That's why. Um, and so what you're going to do is eat it until you get five stacks of it. So I'm going to eat this once and there's one stack and then I'll get turkey and then I'll do stuffing and then I'll do turkey and you're going to build it up to five. And then as soon as you get all five up, all five of them up to five stacks, um, they all disappear and you get this, which gives you reputation, increases your rep gain by 10% last an hour. So that's pretty nice. And you get a well-fed buff, which is also really cool. Um, and it changes based on, the, based on the food. So maybe eat the one you want last so it lasts a little bit longer. Um, and then you just need to do that. There are, like you see, there's three tables here. So you're not going to run out of spots to sit, hopefully. Um, especially now that this achievement's been out for a while. And then as soon as you get that, um, go to the next city and do it. Uh, Pilgrim's Progress, you need to complete each of the dailies, which is to bring 20 of each of the foods, um, which you have to cook, which you need for now we're cooking, um, <clears throat> to the various people. So you can grab, <clears throat> you can grab um, some of them from the various cities, but um, I'm, I'm assuming that you grab them where you hand them in. So I'm going to tell you where you get them now. So for the can't get enough turkey, um, you hand that in in either Ironforge or Ogremar. Um, and I'll go in how to make them when we get to the now we're cooking one. Um, but you hand this one in in Ironforge and Ogremar. Or Ogremar. Uh, the easiest pie is the pumpkin pie. You hand that in in Darnassus or Thunder Bluff. Um, we're out of Cranberry Chutney again. You hand it in Stormwind or Undercity. The stuffing you hand in in Ironforge or Ogremar. And the sweet potatoes you hand in either Stormwind or Undercity. Um, and you need to make 20 of them. Terracar Turkey Time. So you can buy... Actually, I don't know if you buy it. I'm going to find out. Come on. Vendor. Okay. So... Hmm. Oh, you travels. get them from quests, yeah. I'm assuming. Yes, quests or dailies. Um, okay, so. Hello. Okay, so yeah, by doing the dailies, um, get whichever ones you want. You will need... Either you will need the hat, you will need the attire, the dress, or the robe, and you will need a turkey shooter. Um, the boots are optional, um, and I have, I took the dress, and you need the hat, but you will need the hat and one of these three, robe, dress, or attire, 
um, in order to complete a later achievement, and you need the turkey shooter for a different one. The boots just kind of complete the ensemble, so, you know, have at her. See you later. Um, so for Terracar turkey time, you need to go to Setha Calls in Auchindoon, and uh, you can do it in normal, doesn't have to be in heroic, and you have to beat the last boss while wearing um, the hat and either a dress robe or attire. Now make sure you are wearing both before you kill him. So my suggestion is put it on uh, once you get inside the dungeon before you start fighting things. And uh, the regular dungeon is, jeez, mid-60s. So doing this on normal is going to be no problem at all as long as you're like probably at least 70, 75. So don't even worry about that part. Um, if you want to do it on heroic, there's another boss in there that has a chance to drop a mount. So you could always run it on heroic if you're a really high level. Um, but make sure you have the gear before you start the fight, because if you don't, you can't equip it while you're fighting, and that's just not fun. Uh, turkey Lurkey. So you need to blast the rogues with your turkey shooter, which again you get from the dailies. Um, my recommendation is to, as usual, because we don't have the big joint cities anymore, um, everything's divided, my recommendation is either go to um, do a battleground or go to Timeless Isle. You can try Shatrath and Darna Shatrath or uh, Dalaran, but they're pretty empty these days. So my again, my suggestion: go to Shatrath. Um, usually during these times, people will go to the big cities so that people will get them. But um, go to like Timeless Isle or Isle of Thunder, something like that. Timeless Isle is usually pretty crazy, so I'd suggest going to Timeless Isle because there's going to be lots of people there. Or run into a battleground. AV is a good one. Um, yeah, so that's my suggestion for those. Uh, now we're cooking. So you need to cook up every one of these. Now you need a minimum of 350 cooking in order to get all of them. Um, so the candied sweet potato, um, you can get the spices and everything for all of the ingredients from any vendor, but specific ingredients you will only find um, in certain areas, I suppose, like in the certain tables, vendors outside the various cities. So um, to get the sweet potatoes, you need to either go to Thunderbluff or Darnassus. Um, to get the pumpkins for the pumpkin pie, uh, the one outside Stormwind or Undercity. The cranberry chutney, um, you can get from, the cranberries you can get from Ogremar or Iron Forge. And the slow roasted turkeys. Now the turkeys you don't actually buy. Um, you have to kill the wild turkeys and you can find them in Elwyn Forest and you can find them in uh, Terrace Fall Glades. Um, just fly around, try and find a big group, and we'll explain how to do that in the Turkinator. Um, but uh, for that one, you do actually need to loot, um, well, you'll need to loot 20 total in order to get uh, this achievement. Um, so don't go for Turkinator in this one at the same time. No, that's just asking for trouble. Um, Pilgrim's Peril is the next one. So while wearing either the dress, the robe, or the attire, so you don't need the hat, you don't need the boots, um, take a seat at a bountiful table in all the opposing faction cities. So um, you don't have to sit in all of them, just sit in one chair and you'll get the little, it'll check off or it'll get a line through it or a little green or whatever. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, yeah, just fly around and get to all of them. A reminder for Alliance that Silver Moon City is instanced. And in order to get there, you have to dismount and you can only ground mount, you can't fly towards there. So just kind of watch out for that. Um, Alliance, or Horde, same thing for Exodar. Um, getting there, you will need to take a boat or you can fly partway there. Um, it's kind of a hassle to get there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so good luck. Sharing is caring. You need to pass one of every dish. So. Um, this is one where it's helpful to have a friend, but not, ex not entirely required. Um, just sit down, find someone else who's working on achievements and then just pass it to them. And then if you end up hitting them on the head, you'll get the food fight buff. Um, one of each, and it doesn't have to be in each city, just pick a city where there's lots of people and do that. Or if you want to, if you have to slowly get them while you're going elsewhere, that's fine too. And the Turkinator. You need to hunt enough wild turkeys quickly enough to gain turkey triumph. So how this works is go to those areas where you found turkeys. Try and do this in off hours because they're, they take a while to respawn. And you're going to kill them. And every time you kill one, 
um, you get a buff that lasts for 30 seconds. And once it's 30 seconds are done, you're, once the 30 seconds are done, you haven't killed a new one that refreshes the buff. The counter stops. Every 10, you will get a new notification on your screen, like a raid warning. Um, once you hit 40, you get the turkey triumph, and you get the achievement. Um, this one takes a little bit of time. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Elwyn Forest, usually around the farms, is where all the turkeys will be. And in Tearsfall, let's see if I can find it. Nope, wrong one. Um, they said south of in here, we're south of Scarlet Monastery. Um, if you go towards the Balnear farmstead or the Solidan farmstead, Balnear I think is the easiest one. Um, just run from Brill to Balnear up to Venom Web and back, and you should get enough. As long as again, as long as you kill one every 30 seconds, you're fine. Um, I would recommend mounting in between groups, but just running. It's too, you're gonna waste too much time mounting otherwise. Um, and yeah. Any speed boost that you have will greatly be of use there. But that's it for this one. So doing all of this will net you, let's see here. Yes, these are all worth 10. So you will get, including the 10 for doing the big meta, you will get 100 achievement points. You will get the pilgrim title and you will get the plump turkey pet. Which looks like this. Oh, he senses his destiny. Oh my god! Ha! Ah! That is hysterical! I did not even know that was a thing. What the bloody hell just happened? Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing videos next week, guys. I'm sorry. I leave for my honeymoon next Tuesday. Um, so I will definitely not be doing that. Maybe I will do on Monday. It might be a very quick crap video, and it might be an actual involved video. I don't know. You may not get one, so I'm not sure. Um, and then I probably won't be doing any around Christmas, so... You know, I'm just gonna say this now. I am taking a break, and, uh, I may put up videos every now and then just to kind of fill you in. If I get some free time, I promise I will put one up. But if I don't, I will see you all in the new year. Have a very Merry Christmas. Um, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy winter solstice, happy yay there's snow on the ground, anywho, and have a wonderful new year. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.